Good morning, Eagles. I'm Eli, and today's show is all about food. At GJ, our mission is to be prompt, polite, and prepared. And our vision is for every student to graduate with the skills necessary to be successful in a college or career. On today's show, where I will be doing an interview about your favorite food, Shram will be talking about some GMOs, and Colby will be talking about McDonald's. I'm Eli, and ENN starts right now. With so many people in the world right now, food has to be made by bulk. So we use GMOs, which stands for genetically modified organism, which is used to make multiples of different foods. Tram knows a little bit more about GMOs. Let's go to her for the report. Hi Eagles, today we're gonna to talk all about GMOs, specifically GMO foods. So what is a GMO? GMO stands for genetically modified organisms. GMO foods is a food that has the DNA of a different organism to create something new. The benefits of doing this is to create higher yield crops or to create pest resistant foods. Unlike what people think, most of the GMO foods are being used to feed animals instead of people. However, some popular GMO foods are papayas, rice, corn, etc. These GMO foods can be used to create different things such as canola oil, granulated sugar, and cornstarch. Hopefully, you learned something new about GMO foods. Signing off, Tram from ENN. Thanks, Tram, for telling us about GMOs. Fast food is an American staple, and there's so many of them. One, for instance, is McDonald's, probably one of the most notable fast food restaurants. This restaurant was opened on April 15th, 1955, and there's even a film on Netflix called The Founder about McDonald's. Colby knows a little bit more about McDonald's. Let's go to him for the report. Hey Eagles, I'm Colby, and today I'm going to be explaining the backstory of one of the most famous enterprises, McDonald's. The story begins with a modest inventor by the name of Ray Kroc and his invention for milkshakes called the Multi-Mixer. After receiving an order for his invention, Ray went to the McDonald's and was truly impressed with the customer satisfaction and efficiency. Ray spoke to the owners, which are brothers Mac and Dick McDonald, about franchising the organization. After multiple conversations, Ray convinced the brothers to allow him to franchise this organization, even with worries of not keeping the same customer satisfaction. Unfortunately for Ray, these worries became true, but Ray had a solution. Ray began hiring a general manager for each location to keep McDonald's at the standards it needed to be at. Now to this day, there's over 13,000 different McDonald's locations within the United States. That's all I have for you today, Eagles. I'm Colby, ENN. Thanks, Colby, for telling us about McDonald's. There are so many differences going on in the world right now, and it's hard to relate with one another. But one thing we can all relate on is the love for food. Me, for instance, I love calzone. Riley is going to be interviewing a couple of you Eagles about what your favorite food is. Let's go to her for the interview. Hey Eagles, it's Riley. And since the beginning of COVID, many of us have come to love cooking and eating food. So today I'm going to be asking some of the Eagles here about their favorite foods. Mac and cheese because it can be made many different ways. My favorite food is steak and the reason it would be is because um, back where I grew up in, we didn't really have much of it, but when we came here, it was like a new thing for us, so I just really enjoyed it. My favorite food is beans, rice, and pork chops because beans, the beans and rice complement each other, and the pork chop just adds that little extra flavor. My favorite food is sushi because there's so many different types of it. Like it can be made spicy, sweet, crunchy, soft. It just amazes me how many different things can be compacted in this tiny little roll. If I could have any food right now, it would probably be sushi. The food I would want right now would probably be pizza because I haven't had it in a long time. If I could have any food right now, it would be chicken wings and fries. If I could go for anything right now, it would probably be like a chocolate protein bar, you know, the healthy kind, and just like a, an assorted mixed nuts, like sea salt on there. 
It's like an after school snack around daily and I just really enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed the student's input. I'm Riley, back to you Eli. Now that you've learned about food, let's learn a little bit more about what's going on here at GJ. Environmental Club Interest Meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, August 24th in room 4209 at 2 p.m. There will be a tennis interest meeting on Friday, August 27th after school in Ms. Denner's room 4217. Sophomore class meeting in room 1221 at 205 p.m. on August 25th. People interested in joining sophomore class student council are encouraged to attend. Tickets for sporting events are now available online. Skip the crowds by going to the school website at georgejenkinshs.com or the district website polkschoolsfl.net. Homecoming court applications are available in Ms. Ben's room 1226. They are due no later than Wednesday, August 25th. Any upperclassmen still interested in becoming a member of student council can find the QR code to the application outside of Ms. Ben's room and around the school. Applications need to be completed by Friday, August 27th. HOSA will be having an interest meeting next Tuesday, August 24th at 2.05 p.m. in Ms. Robinson's room 4211. TSA will be holding an interest meeting August 26th in room 4124 immediately after school. FBLA will have its interest meeting in room 4224 on Tuesday, August 31st at 2.05 p.m. Anyone interested in becoming a member of FBLA should plan to attend this meeting. Yearbooks and yearbook ads for seniors can be purchased anytime in room 4224. The current cost of a yearbook is $90. For a full page ad, it is $340. For a half page, $220. For a quarter page, $120. And for an eighth of a page, $64. Eagles, I hope you learned a little bit more about food. I'm Eli signing off of ENN.